Good morning, my fellow scientists. It is Tuesday, December 12, 2017, and I want to talk to you about shape memory alloys. There was an article in Scientific American, to which I have linked in the description below, about using the shape metal alloy that has been recently developed to convert waste heat into energy. And I think that is a pretty clever idea, converting low temperature heat differentials from essentially something that just gets dumped into something that could be useful. It's hard to imagine that it's going to displace electric motors or electric generators in most, almost any application, but for some very specialized niches, that strikes me as just a really cool way to use a really neat phenomenon. So what is a shape alloy? So thanks to the University of Cambridge for sharing this video, you can see that when you have this spring stretched way out and then apply some heat to it by using, for instance, a hairdryer, the spring returns Memory. to its spring shape just by virtue of the applied heat. That transfer of heat energy into motion is the phenomenon by which you can build a heat engine using very low energy heat. So a very small heat differential can be used to flex this type of metal. So if you have a waste stream of water come from say a cooling tower, you're, you're going from very high temperature to your cold water, your water comes out warm, you get energy from your generator, what do you do with the warm water? Usually you just dump it. But if you pass it over this wire, you can use a system of valves to cause the wire to expand and contract, thereby creating physical motion and kinetic energy. So that's cool. Convert that low grade heat into energy. Useful maybe, for instance, in replacing an alternator in a car where you don't want to slow down the good energy from your engine but instead can use the waste energy from the exhaust to build up the uh, current necessary to charge the battery. Will it ever take over? Well, I've seen that thermoelectric materials have been used to do that, replace a moving part with a non-moving part. Maybe this would be more efficient. Other options, I can imagine this could be very useful in a situation where you had solar heating and you wanted to have a non-powered blower to circulate heat through. I can imagine something like this could work for that. But I just think it's really neat. A uh, link to the Scientific American article in the station below. I am fascinated by these innovative use of phenomena for energy. I'm never very convinced that they are going to be as revolutionary as they sound, just because it takes so much effort to bring something up to the current state of the art with existing technologies. But I still think they're really neat. I still think that there are niche applications for this kind of technology that we haven't thought of yet, and having it out there is a good thing. So if you like that kind of thing, learning about new phenomena and how they might be applied to energy or just to fun stuff, tune in Monday through Friday. We talk about science and chemistry strange science news and occasionally our own results for instance on the development of an all-iron battery which we will get to later in the week right here in the allen lab